Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Need for Speed Most Wanted. And in this 22nd part of the, the playthrough of this game, we continue the challenge series. You already know I, I did the whole story mode, so yeah, challenge series, every episode. We left off having completed 46 challenges. This last episode, I decided to do 10 instead of 12. Now, for the next couple episodes, we're going to do eight because they're getting longer and they're getting more challenging. So first up, we got this toll booth. A person's car broke down. So we're giving them a taxi ride. This is challenge 47. This is one of those cases where this game specifically, I have to get the intro right on the first try every time now. Because I do it by entering like the main menu and all kinds of shit. This is a Lexus. I mean, we already knew this whenever we passed by this car every time we were playing the game and we were driving the, the regular cars. But now we're at the traffic cars, you, you can notice that the purple cars and the green cars and all these taxis, pizza cars, they're all basically Lexuses. Yeah, every time I start one of these challenge series videos, I start it at the, the, the main menu. And I, I do that after selecting my user and shit. So if I get that intro wrong, I basically have to start over the entire game. But I never do. It's really simple stuff. I say what episode it is. And then... Go to the, the challenge series menu. And then ta-da. I am... Trying to, to drive good. And fast. But, but also avoid these traffic cars that are scattered all over the road. I didn't even realize there was a fire truck there until the last game second. It's just so low res. So pixelated. It, I can't even tell there's something there. They're gonna spawn some police car around this bend or something. I should save some of that nitrous for whenever I crash this car or have a hard corner, which we're going to have right here. And I have no nitrous. It's taking forever to build up. Yeah, it was a poor decision to try increasing my speed in a straight. There's your heat level one police car. Did did the tripod just pop? Like, adjust itself? I don't know why it has to do that. Or maybe that was my computer, like the plastic, adjusting because of, like, the change in the temperature. I just turned off the AC. That happens all the time when I'm editing videos. Like, something pops because, of, like, you know, I just adjusted a tripod, or the temperature's changing. Just randomly. You know what I mean. It's so weird when the house does it, because for all I know, it's a roach just making movements. Or it's just stuff popping because of the temperature. This is our first toll booth. Good God, we've been going for quite a ways. I think the next one is not nearly as far. And a good seven seconds to spare, and I've wasted some nitrous at some point. Have I hit any traffic cars? I mean, maybe I've grinded against a few of them, but I don't think I've actually hit one. I'm not going to take that jump. It's going to slow me the fuck down. I want to get this in my first try. I want to just breeze through these eight challenges I'm doing in this video. Hey, look, it's my car. Why were the taillights on on that one? Like, they're not hitting the brakes. They're going down a hill. Oh! Ow. Yeah, that was kind of oiled. It's really dirty and lack of drip. I haven't hit any traffic cars yet. I haven't, like, actually nailed one and stopped myself. I don't think so. Yeah, this one was right over here. Still seven seconds. So if I had no time left at that uh, first toll booth, then I would have also had no time left at the previous one. Oh man, the frame rate's kind of acting up. Because we're in pursuit. I hate that it's doing that during a toll booth whenever I need to have like absolute precision to make every corner avoid every traffic car. All right. I think that specifically right there was how Kamikaze got his thumbnail whenever he had the, the taxi one for one of his episodes. That specific jump. I actually slowed down because I was afraid I was going to nail a wall if I came off the jump so fast. Which, that does happen in other challenge series events. Uh, well, that might have slowed me down a bit. Still have not hit any traffic cars. I can't see where I'm going over this hill. I don't think I've gone a single event in this entire game without, like, I mean, I'm like a toll booth without hitting something. Unless the traffic was just chopped down. I could have taken that ramp up there, but I would rather not be hitting signs and shit. Oh! 
Well, there goes my my streak. It's gone. I hit another freaking taxi. I'm ruining the business. I'm basically saying your business is not as important as mine. Yeah, this guy is in a dire situation. We have to get somewhere very quickly since his car broke down. Why we have to do it quickly, I didn't read into that. But that is the end of the first challenge. Maybe this is not a Lexus. Maybe it's an Alteza. I don't freaking know. I got that one with like 13 or 14 seconds of spare. Now we're going to go on challenge 48. We're going to use a police SUV and we have to evade a pursuit in less than four minutes. So it has to be quick. This is really going to happen. A very quick episode. Ugh, hit that. How is he still behind me? I hit the pursuit breaker. Dude, just fuck it. Start over. This game is being stupid. Yeah, let's go in here. Or let, let's not go in here. I'm stuck. Because this SUV does not have enough horsepower or weight to push through a barrel of water. Ugh, I have spent the past, like, five minutes just trying to say that I could have recorded this video three hours ago, but... I was in the middle of editing something else. Editing gets boring sometimes, so I just kept on stopping. Now that I finished editing, I'm like, I want to take a nap. So I just sat there for an hour scrolling on Discord or whatever, reading dumb Facebook comments. And then finally get around to it, I'm like, wow, it's 3 o'clock. <laughs> it felt like I could have had this done by noon. I started editing at 7 in the morning. So I'm going to go to the radio tower. I, I keep trying to do that. Go all these pursuit breakers, but they're not working. Because they just spawn somebody right in front of them. And it's like they only show up there and spawn there because I'm there. They weren't going to be there otherwise. So they're going to come in here. I am going to go this way. I'm going to go left. Okay. There are no police cars. There, there are... What, what am I... What is stopping me? I don't, I don't know. Is that, is that a telephone booth? That is a glass telephone booth with, with small metal poles. I, I don't understand this game. But uh, the Pursuit Breaker did not work. Um, this truck carries no weight and horsepower, apparently. I always thought they did. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You destroy all those cars. And then there's this guy here. I don't know where that key came from. There's a roadblock now. I need uh, a better uh, pursuit. <laughs> better way for it to start. One of those pursuits where as soon as you started, it's evaded because like they couldn't spawn enough cars in time. I love that situation. All right, uh, there's no one here following me. No one can see me. Uh, I'm fine. Never mind, there is. There's that guy. You, come over here. You, like, get, get with this guy. Work on me. They suck. They suck so bad, but they're also so good because they suck. I don't know. Go. Take off before that guy sees me. Okay, we're in cooldown. I need a hideout. There are, like, no hideouts. I can't be seen in here. I cannot be seen in here. It is a glass building. I don't know what logic I'm playing by right now. I, I, I cannot be seen at all from here. There's... <laughs> there, there's just too many walls and shit. You're not freaking hide out next to that gas station. There's the only other gas station. I try to do this stuff rhythmically, you know? Just have a system of hit this pursuit breaker, hit this one, then go into a hideout, and then, like, I'm not in that position. I always just skip the, the cooldown video. This is what I have to sit through every video. This. Good game, good. Challenging game, challenged me. I'm still shocked by the freaking water barrel thing and the, the the telephone pole thing. We wouldn't have that issue if we're driving the the, the garbage truck or the cement truck or whatever. Already six challenges to go. On a different day, this would have been like half of them already done. I've only been sitting here for 15 minutes, so I mean, I guess they were just that difficult. It was supposed to be done quickly, but it was difficult. Uh, it's a pursuit skills training thing. So we're not going to be 
getting any pursuit or any traffic. I, I This is going to be awesome. I just have to drive really quickly. We might be in a heat level 3 car, I believe. Unless I already did that. Oh, I have done that. Now we got the Corvette. So I guess all our pursuits are going to have Corvettes now. Well, that, that's kind of frightening. I can already tell you, this thing is going to be wicked freaking fast because it's a Corvette. And, like, we have not driven a car this good in the game ever. Like, they have this thing superpowers compared to everything I even had whenever I did the story mode. Look at this thing turn. It's so agile, so fast, so accelerating. I am cutting it close with the toll booth. I'm cutting it very close to the toll booth. What did I do wrong? Okay. 1.7 seconds. Take the shortcut right here. Don't hit anything. Good, goody McGoodersons. <sighs> it, it'll get better. It's supposed to be really hard on the first one, but everything else should be okay. Oh my god, the brakes work too? I never freaking... What, what, what's the word? I, I never uh, invested in, in brakes. I would just wait, let them have the cars already come with them. Yeah, oh, big old jump. Not a really great shot of the car because we're looking underneath it, and then doesn't even have a chassis. It's just black. It's got that next gen uh, cover on it. Uh, I am not going to take the shortcut over here because it's going to be all dirty. It's going to dirt bridge and all kinds of stuff to crash into. Better off just doing this. I'm using all that nitrous. But there's no traffic cars for me to crash into and make me regret using it at a wrong time. I could take that shortcut right there. But then the shortcut comes out. The shortcut comes out. And I'll probably get all loose and hit a wall there. But it doesn't really matter because in the end I hit some other wall. I feel like it was even faster to just stay on the roadway. We're going so fast that I can't handle it. I cannot handle how fast this is being. Did my hood just come off? Yeah, it's a police car. It's got police car damage. Let's take this little dirt road. You know, a lot easier now that we're on to the, the second toll booth. Ugh. Oh, we're, we're going this way. I thought we'd go the other way. I, we just came that way, so that's not smart thinking. When does JC ever do the smart thinking? Uh, I, I'm trying to not bounce off the walls. The moment that I start bouncing off the walls, we're fucked. Somehow it's still going to make this, though. We're at this point where, like, <laughs> we're going so fast. And we have to not hit anything. It has to be so perfect that I don't feel like I have room to talk. Just look at the damage this thing is taking, though. Like, no car gets damaged like this. Only the police cars get their shit. Because that's what they have. You see how much they get torn up. I wish you could, like, leak fuel or overheat like they do sometimes. Bash into them, they start just leaving a big old trail of white stuff all over the place. That was the perfect place to be using nitrous. I'm still hitting poles and crap. We are going insanely fast. Oh, we're just gonna keep on going straight over the, the boardwalk. They're just letting me destroy the entire freaking city. Like, this is this is for my training to join the police force. I have to back up now because that, that is too much for a human being to handle. I'm going to fail the challenge because of that. And we got like 15 seconds left. Yeah, I think it's enough. I, I should not have passed this. I made it too easy later on. But yeah, that's the end of it. It's just too much. I need, I got to practice for that. I just fling myself into this first attempt and make it. But anyways, now on to the fourth challenge of the video. This will be the halfway point. We have to accumulate 100,000 bounty with a cement truck. Okay, so we did a garbage truck last episode. We got the cement truck in this one. I'm curious, like, which is faster, if this is, like, lighter or heavier. I don't think that I need to change the camera or anything, because they, they yeah, they do that on their own with these really big vehicles. Oh, man, it's sliding all over the goddamn place. He wants to go over here into the football stadium, and I have fallen over. Help, I've fallen, and I can't get up. And then they put me back up here again. Well, are we going to flip again, or what? I don't know. They had, it was them that wanted to do this. 
I am stuck on top of police cars. Yeah, I, I, I'm just backing up. How the heck did that bring me out of the busted area with the thing? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I should be bust right now. They want to go in the football stadium. They want to play football. Let's go play football. Stupid submit truck. Tigers. Tigers. Riverfront Stadium. Is this like the real Auburn Tigers or whatever? Aaron Almarola or Aaron versus Almarola. What a shot. Oh, well, we, I wouldn't even make the jump. I'm like, you're supposed to do that, and I just. Way too much. Just fell right back to the ground again. What the? Uh, all right, respawn me again. <laughs> it happens over and over and over. Oh my God! They weren't expecting that because that's not how life works. And if they didn't respawn us, honestly, this would be way more of a challenge. But because they do, like, I'm pretty sure there's some guy that does like modding for this game that could disable uh, respawn. And make it the actual challenge is supposed to be. This thing just flips over and falls over like so much. I don't think even the garbage truck was like this. They are so very scattered. They're crashing into the water barrels. They're crashing into water barrels. Uh, I can't make turns. I'm trying to get to the pursuit breaker. I'm giving it everything I got to get to that pursuit breaker over there. Uh. This is a weird place for... Oh, that's where it is. Ow. This is the only Pursuit Breaker on the entire map, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have found him if there was another one. I am trying to get to the Pursuit Breaker. Ugh. Oh, my God. After a long wait, we finally have reached the Pursuit Breaker and destroyed several police cars. And we're almost at 100. Okay, there's a roadblock over there. Let's go to the roadblock. If it doesn't despawn because I'm so far away, I don't. That would be terrible logic. I got this guy. Ow! Flip me over. Okay, I flipped that guy. Still not enough bounty. There's another pursuit breaker over there. There's two cars behind me. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna destroy both of them and then get evaded. Ow! Okay, here we go. We go bust through the gas station. Ugh! Or that could happen. I, I, have, I was about to back up and hit it again. Okay, we did it. I just got to evade. And now you're respawning. I hate you. I'm just going to sit here. You can't find me. There's no way this actually works. There, dude. Oh, there's a cooldown right there. You, despawn. Or drive away. Go away. Oh, well. Maybe I could have just driven off over there and that would have worked. What is this? I've never seen this before. Whoa, the camera cannot handle that. Okay, let's go through the water tower then. Alright. I need a place to hide though. I cannot see where I'm going. I'm left. <laughs> hey look, we're doing a little we're, do, we're doing a little freaking uh yoga, I guess. That was that was impressive. What is this? Let's drive up there and hit that. This is where Squidward plays? Okay. I think I've used that before in the story mode. Okay. We're baiting. You, you just couldn't let it go to cool down? I'm never going to end this pursuit. It's impossible to get it to freaking end. Okay, I guess we'll just start the whole freaking whole crap over again. Oh, look. Another pursuit breaker. Right next to the one I just hit. What in God's name just happened to my screen? Oh, aren't he level four now? There is spikes right there. I don't know how the hell it did that. All right, I'm going to the baseball stadium. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell just happened? Well, they're destroying themselves. I ain't got there yet. Okay. I would like to, to wait before I hit the other one. All right, so I guess they're going to... Put some police cars right there. Wait, those are SUV ramps. Like, that's a weird place for them to ram from. No, I don't want to go to the roadblock. I want to stay out of sight. I'm trying to back up. And they saw me because I can't back up out of sight. Dude, I smashed both of those. And I it will not end. 
It's I. It doesn't. It's it's not. It won't end. I'm gonna go and avoid spikes. Ha! I'm gonna hide in here. You can't see me in here. Oh my god! No way. Oh, well, that's bullshit. Okay. There's no police cars. I mean, there's no helicopter. I'm just gonna sit right here. Oh, there's a little hideout. Yeah, let's go to the hideout. Yay! Finally! I have... Oh, boy. <laughs> I can see uh, the infrastructure of the, the gas station, or the car wash, or whatever this is. It took 16 and a half minutes. I guess I got to have some fun with it, but... I've already driven big truck, different thing. Like, I get the idea. I'm trying to do the, like exactly what they asked for. Instead, I'm just stuck. The bounty was a given. And that is exactly why I want to do just eight challenges a video right now. I've been recording for almost 40 minutes, and we've done four challenges. Oh my god, how much further do I have to scroll? Okay. Now I'll go do another toll booth. This is the fifth challenge of the video. I think that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of the fun stuff. With all the weird cars and, and trucks and, you know. Now we're in a, a custom painted shiny blue Lotus Elise. Oh man, this thing turns. This car is not good for pursuits. We had that and that was a horrifying experience. But uh, it is definitely great for driving. Wait, this thing weaves. I mean, it turns better than the Corvette, but it's probably not as fast as that Corvette police car. Use that NOS. Oh, I love the way these regular cars don't consume the nitrous too much. I am going to need to slow down. I'm just going to drive straight into the taxi like a buffoon. I mean, I had to slow down. So I would go hit the turn signs. So, but I like this. I like just driving cars that are, are good at driving and doing challenges. But they're challenging, but like... They, they don't take forever. They don't take 20 freaking attempts whenever it's not actually the challenge itself that it's hard. It's always something else. It wasn't even that the the cement truck was hard to drive or anything. It was more like nothing was working. They just kept it going. They always spawned another guy, and no hiding place that I took worked because there was always another freaking guy, and I couldn't get out of sight. If I did get out of sight, they would just find me the other way, and there would be no freaking hideouts. I couldn't get to activate the hideout because that would be the situation where I would hit a pursuit breaker. Aim for the hideout, and you know there'd be another guy in front of it. It's just a giant loophole, and then it takes forever to get from one thing to another. Like you know how there's always a hideout next to some of the gas stations. It, it, it takes forever to get there just because how big the truck is. Oh God, you're ruining, you're ruining it. Stop it. You are ruining, you are ruining my toll booth. I have to be go fast to every checkpoint, and you're getting in the way. Stop it. I'm gonna look at the map and see what the heck this thing is doing. It's like gonna cross over and we're gonna go back under it to the next toll booth over there, I guess. Watch, I'm gonna fail this toll booth challenge. Jesus Christ. Ain't that a thumbnail. Yeah, for, forget the the Corvette. Yeah, let's do that. I think I already had a Corvette thumbnail. Didn't we? I'm trying to think back. I don't remember. It was like a, a red Corvette or something like that at the beginning of the challenge series. Maybe. Oh, that was a pursuit breaker. I don't know if I hit it or not. No, okay, now you're demeaning the Lotus Elise. Uh, need for speed handling. You won't stop sliding around. Please move your stupid fucking ass out the way. Frame rate is so low that I can't tell where things are. I, I can't tell the light from the cars, from the toll booth, from anything. That's what low frame rates do. It doesn't help your vision so you can see things better. No, it just causes massive stutter and you can't focus. The game is losing focus. Oh my god, I'm using all my nitrous just to beat these guys. Where the hell is he going? I don't know. Another toll booth up here. We're going to be at this one a little sooner. And I always go to the right side when we do this little loop-de-loop. -loop. JC likes the loop-de-loop. -loop. That's uh, always a good way to relax whenever you're in Rockport or whatever. 
And I think, nope, not even the next toll booth is the last one. We got two more to go. We're on our way to our second to last one. I am trying so hard to avoid trees and avoid hitting walls, and then they throw a van in there, and we evaded the pursuit. We're in cooldown, but cooldown doesn't end whenever you're in the middle of a, an event. Okay, we have to take this way. Ow. There's a hideout. I could take the hideout, guys. I should just sit in the hideout. Don't finish the toll booth. I think I noticed they started doing that um, last episode. I saw a hide off to the side. I was like, what the hell is that there for? I think the final toll booth is right after the one we just went through. 12 seconds away. And we're at 10 seconds. Oh my god, where is it? Oh, okay. I forgot there was even a toll booth up this hill. Oh, are we going to die? Or die? Are we going to... We're going to fail it. You wasted my time. Fuck you, game. I'm not showing you any footage of my second attempt. It's the same bullcrap. Jesus Christ. What took so long? He went the wrong way. Oh my god. What are you doing, car? Look how much time I have left. They started a pursuit. And then the guy just went the wrong way immediately. Now they finally come back right at the end. But I'm going to have nearly 20 seconds. Get your stupid fucking white bitch ass out of the way. 20 seconds to spare. It was going to be like 19 seconds. And that guy did that shit. These dumbass heat level 5 Corvette police cars. Now we're going to have a pursuit. It's going to be any heat level 5. You know that. Uh, what are they asking us to do? I need to get out of the pursuit in under four minutes, just like we did at the beginning of the video. I hit the pursuit breaker and... Ow, Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I hit the pursuit breaker and, and nothing happened. Well, I didn't get busted. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a Lotus Elise, all right. It doesn't want to do anything I ask, and uh, I'm going to try that again. Yeah, I think this is actually harder than the one where... He had the heat level three, but it was a big old cement truck or whatever. I was going to question it for a second, but but no. It's freaking heat level five, and this thing does not like turning or shit. So I am not going to try parking the car or whatever. I'm just going to hit the dang pursuit breaker and take off. I need to lose them, and I'm doing everything I can to lose them. we got another heat pursuit breaker right over here. And then there is a hideout right after it. Go through there, and park it right there. Very convenient. Oh, the helicopter can't see us, and he's going the wrong way anyways. I need to back out and then get in the hideout. So simple. So quick. I feel like Kamikaze did the exact same thing, though. I just remember, like, he got into a pursuit, and it ended, like, freaking immediately. <laughs> but that is exactly what you're supposed to do. So never mind, this really is, like, one of the easiest challenges in the game. You just gotta know where your surroundings are and stuff. So, that is six challenges done in this video. we got two more to go, and I'll call it an episode. I think in the end, it is still going to be the shortest one yet. There's so much footage to cut out because I got stuck in pursuit for 16 and a half minutes. So, now we're going to do another toll booth. Four minutes, ten seconds. What are we driving? It is a uh, Mercedes SL300. I don't freaking know. It's white. It's, it's nice, I guess. It's a, a blinding white, I guess. Not like for lesson or anything. Why though? Like, why why this? I mean, we already drove a McLaren, so I, mean, I guess there's that. We're just trying to have us drive a bunch of different cars. It's it's one of them slidey cars. Oh shit! JC doesn't like those slidey cars. Yeah, of course. Hurry, shit. You're asking me to hurry. Because there's little you can do to, to perfect that. Dude, look, are you seeing that? Are you hearing it? It is slidey shit car. Oh! That was not the smartest idea. I, I didn't have time to rethink my decision to go in that direction. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, they're setting up the pursuit. Them not spawning police cars until, like, way, way towards the end of that uh, last toll booth. It's probably like the main reason why I was able to even succeed so well. 
But e even then, I had so much time to spare. I just got held up whenever I did it the first time. I kept on parking in all kinds of crap. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I, I could have gone the other way, and we would not have to be facing this guy so soon. Delayed it a whole another 30 seconds or a minute. I hate this crap with the columns. I hate it. It is dumb. Don't put them there. Just let the bridge fall. I don't know. They lost me again. And that that's how you find me. The freaking median came to an end. Oh, it doesn't turn. It just slides. JC hates it when the cars don't turn and only slide. Oh boy, that's a lot of police cars. Oh no. Oh, why you got why why you gotta do that? Don't do that. I gotta design your stupid event like that. I really should think about hitting the pursuit breakers, even if it's a toll booth. Would you get your stupid out of the way? Oh my god. There's a car and I, I there's too many cars. There's a police car, police car, police car. Some moron delivering a pizza. Green pizza. It's got mushrooms on it. Stupid mushrooms. Come on. Use that. Oh, wow. I'm using the nitrous. I'm not even on the ground. What the hell is that going to do? Uh, don't hit that. Yeah, there might be a sign there, but they can still probably hit the median and park you. That'd be like one of the one senses where it, it does make sense that you're getting clipped and stopped by someone. Half the time, it's just a freaking wall or some crap. Get that! There you go. We'll pass that police car. There should just be like one police car on us now. Ah! Oh, only halfway there, but the next toll booth is just down this bend. Oh my god! I keep destroying police cars and they're still all over the goddamn place. Go! Go! Oh! Second and a half to spare. We got two toll booths left. Fuck off, game. Oh, this is intense. Oh, the frame rate's acting up. I'm getting rid of police cars, and the frame rate's acting up. You gotta be kidding me. At least they don't put roadblocks in toll booths. Oh my god, where the hell is this going? I've never gone this direction in a toll booth challenge. Or a race, even. I mean, we're going so fast, it just seems so unfamiliar to take a turn like that. Uh, okay, at least we're not turning left or something. We're just going straight. Yeah, pizza, taxi! Something! Okay, I know where the next one is. We're gonna make it with more time left. Okay, about four seconds. Oh my god, so much traffic! Because we're going so fast, we're passing more cars rapidly. Move! Fuck off, they just unlimited police cars! Like, I figure I've destroyed them and I've lost them or, or something, but they're just unlimited! Okay, this is the end of the toll booth. On to the final challenge of the video. Three seconds to spare. I'm telling you. This shit later in the challenge series is actually fucking difficult. <laughs> it's just... I did it on the first try. Like, I'm, even if like all this juicy editing and everything, I'm, that was my first try. <laughs> God. That was fun, though. It irritates the hell out of me, but it's, it's a fun irritation. Okay, it's a cost of state challenge, 150,000, and I know it's going to start in heat level 5. Just got to destroy a lot of heat level 5 police cars. Hopefully, it doesn't require backup or some crap. At the moment, I've been recording for 57 minutes. Um, I am going to go to the police station. And after we go to the police station, we will... Aim for gas stations and donuts and whatever. Oh, look at all those police cars. Look at all those police cars. I need all of you guys. To... No. I slowed down so I can make it easier to get in. All right, then. And yeah, we're stuck. I need to go in there. And I need to make it easier for them to know where I'm going. But, like... Come on. Delay it. Just delay it just a little bit. Give them some time to nest. All right. I gotta destroy a ton of police cars, come on. Uh, we're kind of losing them, they don't know where we are just yet. But yeah, that, that was worth a lot of bounty, got some police cars right there. And there's a donut. Right here. Look at all these police cars. Oh my god, I know my shit. I like, I see exactly where I was starting, I know exactly what the fuck to do. Oh, 63,000! Oh, and they got a helicopter to keep track of me. 
We got a roadblock over here of some kind. You just crashed into it for me. Fuck, dude. Come on. Let's go into this water tower together. <laughs> oh my god. We're already almost to 100,000. We got this guy. We still got nine cars left somehow. What Game. Game. Would you get off me so I can actually make physics sense? There's a gas station up there. What? You're just spawning them all sideways on the medium thing? Okay. We're gonna try something else. What does that mean? I've seen all your shit already. Okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna hit this gas station. Ugh! I don't know what other police cars we got here. There was just like three of them. Well, that's... Yeah, we're at 100,000 now. Almost 110,000. Yeah, there's a guy. There's a roadblock or something. What the hell is that? What, what, what is that? That's supposed to be a roadblock, I know. What, what is that? Stupid! This helicopter can fuck off. I'm not evading. Oh! I was not expecting that. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh my god. I can't see anything. I can't tell the lights from the dust. Uh, let's go to the baseball stadium. We got two pursuit breakers there and... Well, I just dropped the police car because he went the wrong way like an idiot. They'll they'll do something. There's a roadblock right there. I will hit the pursuit breaker and then I will um, go back to the roadblock, I guess. I like how that did not touch this guy at all. It got one of them. And we're getting really close to 150,000. We're speed running this shit. This will be a roadblock. They despawned the roadblock. Okay, yeah, there, there are spikes right there. Ugh! And through this little gap. And we tore that thing up. There's a gas station uh, through this forest. I know that much. There's only one police car on us. I don't know if it's worth 10,000. I could also, you know, get money for destroying the gas station. Duh. That's why Pursuit Breakers are so great. Not only do you freaking destroy property, you destroy police cars, and they're worth even more. Like, this one police car is worth more than the entire gas station. Oh, and you got a roadblock right there. I need to take time to think about it. Ugh! Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay, well, I did. And we got there. I just need to destroy this police car. I'll turn around, and I'll head into the hideout. That should work. Oh, I wish I could still drive my car, though. I don't know what to do. Just try going back. Never mind, don't try going back. Fuck. Yeah. I like how there's just suddenly a roadblock over there now that he's seen me. That's weird. To prevent me from getting to the goddamn car wash gas station thing. Well, I can't hit the gas station. I already did that. It didn't even do anything. Why are you taking so long to back up, you stupid car? No, you're not pushing me into the spikes, you stupid head. There is a pal. All this work for nothing. All this work for nothing. No, I'm not busted. Thank God. I'm just trying to get to the goddamn cooldown. It's literally not possible because the helicopter won't go away. Okay, he's going away. You don't know where I am. You do not know where I am. Okay. He's going. He's not going. Dude, what the hell is going on? This is the weirdest uh, in pursuit than I've probably seen in the game. Not to the location, but the way that he's. He knows where I am, but like he can't get anyone to come here and catch me or something. I don't freaking know. Okay. So it's like he, he's just going in circles. Not They're not uh, despawning him. Thanks for watching this episode of Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'll see you guys next week whenever I do another eight challenges. See you next time. That's that and episode over.